What happens when you get stuck off-road in the middle of nowhere? This truck is completely stuck. So is this Subaru and this enormous mystery vehicle. These three vehicles are set up out here by our good friend Matt's Off-Road Recovery as a series of increasingly difficult challenges to see if we can rescue off-road vehicles as average Joes with no experience. Stop, stop, stop. Go, 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 go. Oh my goodness. Off the brake, off the brake. I just about killed you. I'm Justin. I'm James. And I'm Matt. This is Doha. First up, challenge number one. Now this setup is based on a very common scenario. The driver of this car wanted to enjoy the beach with their family, but they tried to get there in a car that was not capable of getting there. What we're looking at is an all wheel drive Subaru Impreza that's buried itself basically as deep as it can go. Oh, and like every Subaru, it's got magic cards in here. Subaru owners love their magic cards. For this job, we're gonna need a vehicle that's relatively lightweight, which means the best candidate out of Matt's fleet is gonna be the banana, the one that started it all. It's an upgraded Jeep Cherokee XJ. It's got a Golan Stroker 4.6 straight six in it. It's got 37 inch tires, hand built links and suspension, a 12,000 pound apex winch, and a hand built dash. With this kind of equipment, this job should be a piece of cake. Uh, first, I think we need to just figure out where we're gonna pull it from. Yes. This looks like a little pop-off thing. I don't have a knife. I need a knife. What do we use? This? Yeah. Is this right, Matt? This is gonna be a long day. <laughs> All I'll do is give you a clue. Uh, yeah, this is way better set up. Look at that. I mean, it's the same thing. It's just, that one's just way longer and sketchy looking. All right, cool. Ugh, that's a jump. <laughs> we need a strap. Let's see what we got. This is a huge rope. Bam, there we go. All right, Jay Bird. I'm gonna get in the Subi. Uh -huh. You get in the banana. Okay. You pull me out slow. All right. Once I'm out, stop. <laughs> Keep going a little bit. Stop! Toy, like a toy gun. All right, Justin, pull me out slow. Hold on, stop, 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 stop! I just stalled it. Ah. So if I wave, do you stop? Okay. If I'm not embarrassed that I don't know how to recover things off-road, I am embarrassed that I stalled this car. Why is he in reverse? You're in reverse! Okay. All right. Hey there, suckers. We are recovered. All right, stop. 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 Recovered. You got it. Heck yeah. yeah. So that recovery involved a few pieces of gear that are super new to us. And the one that probably threw us off the most was the soft shackle. So we use these almost exclusively. They're very versatile. They hook through and around lots of different things. So something about these, these are stupid strong. These are a match for a 30,000 pound rope. So, I mean, how many of that cars could you suspend in the air off of this one loop? Wow. So yes, we absolutely underestimated the strength of the soft shackle, but we also underestimated the strength and power of the kinetic recovery rope. I know you snuck up on it, but this is designed for you to roll okay. into it. You can load them with energy, stretch them out, and then they try to shrink back up. Even if you're way lighter than the vehicle that's stuck, if you can hit the end of that rope, it'll work over a short period of time to move that bigger vehicle up. That's why we can pull up to a 15,000 pound rig with this. Wow. 4,000 pound rig, we can pop them out of the sand. Speaking of bigger vehicles, let's go recover one. Let's ratchet this situation up and see what an intermediate recovery looks like. Next up is challenge number two. This situation is pretty similar to challenge number one. We have another car stuck in the sand, but now it's gonna be much more difficult because this time it's at the bottom of a massive bowl. These bowls are nasty. Every way out of them is up and going up through the sand is very difficult. 
Not only that, but this Chevrolet C10 is stuck in two-wheel drive, which means that the recovery rig is gonna have to do most of the heavy lifting here. Which is why we're taking this trail on with the next member of Matt's fleet, the Moore Vare. The Moore Vare is a 1961 Corvair station wagon plopped on top of a hand-built tube chassis. The Corvair started as a rear engine, but now boasts a 5.3 liter LM7 up front. Even though the Morbear is heavy, that weight is spread out pretty evenly over its 17 inch beadlock wheels wrapped in 40 inch Millstar Patagonius tires. And it's pretty obvious it's got custom suspension with a foot of travel on each end. I love the Morbear, dude. Because of the increased difficulty of this challenge, I'm gonna have Matt with me in the passenger seat to coach me through it. A job like this is gonna take a lot more wheel speed and some planning. So you're gonna need an exit strategy before you even step on the gas. Kind of think of how a roller coaster track would be and drive that route. Keep your speed up. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Get up on top of this. Keep your speed up. Yay, help us here. Saw your front wheels back and forth a little bit. Beautiful. Wow, good job. Hey, Jedberg, you get stuck? Now it's time to make a plan. We have got square body Chevy with a broken front drive shaft. So it is stuck in two wheel drive. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna verify everything that the customer told us. Opposite wheel spinning, we have rear wheel drive, open differential. All of this is good information. Now all of our plans are gonna be based on what we know now. I would do a front pull and I would do it in one swoop. I would swoop around this, gathering speed, and then drive out up over there. Go on this side of that rock right there. That'll get you the most control for where you're gonna go next. Okay, uh, got it. You've got a choice here. You can hook to here or you can hook to here. We're gonna wanna pick it from this side. Cause we want it to turn. Yep, we want it to turn in with us. Let's see if I learned anything. Is that right? That is absolutely <laughs> perfect. Yeah. All right, you saw on that last recovery that James got confused about where his wheels were. Yes. There is no feedback in the sand. You're gonna to wanna to remember that as it straightens out. Gotcha. This is ready for 64,000 pounds. Even with Justin in there, I think we're good. I'm ready to be saved. All right, so what's gonna happen here is this is gonna wanna line up. It's okay if it does, we can go clear to the bottom as long as these wheels are turned the way that we're sliding. Okay. Got it? Kinda. All right, Justin, start your engine. Both of you have the ability to abort the mission. There's a lot going on here. Just the skills developed just to drive through the sand dunes. And now you're stacking on this crazy recovery with a disabled vehicle yeah. on top of that. Good thing it's all being filmed. All right, Justin, as soon as you see us start to move, just ease on the throttle a little. Roger. Step on the gas and go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Keep return, yeah. Stay on the gas, keep return. Up. He's got his wheels turned the wrong way. You need to correct on your wheels. Turn to the left. Turn to the left. Give it some gas. Give it some gas. Let's go. 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 <laughs> All right. Stop. He messed up, right? Well, he wasn't helping, and, <laughs> and he had his wheel turned the wrong way. We're gonna try to go around the loop again, but this time we're gonna pick up a lot more speed and keep our wheels straighter. Okay, we're gonna back up and hit, hit you with a little bump. Yeah, we need speed. We need like 20 miles an hour.
you okay? I'm good, Jaybird. Thank you, Jaybird. Woo! I think I know why a lot of people get stuck in this thing. This looks really simple, but this sand is no joke. You have no idea where your tires are. Really easy to like lose your head and kind of get like sand vertigo. And if you don't know the tips and tricks, then you're not gonna go anywhere. <laughs> Marked improvement from the first try to the last try. Now let's see what the advanced challenge is. We're about to head to the most difficult challenge of the day. So we need an extremely capable off-road rig. So we brought out Matt's off-road wrecker, the largest off-road tow truck in the world. Ain't that right, Matt? That's what I've heard. The wrecker is based on a 1956 International R200. It's got a fully custom frame and it's powered by a Chevy 8.1 liter big block V8. This thing has military axles that are mine resistant and ambush protected. It's got seven winches total, including the dual boom arm crane. The 55 inch beadlock tires and rear wheel steering make this thing an off-road monster, which is a good thing because we're gonna need all the help we can get if we're gonna even make it to the location of our final recovery. Let's hit the trail. So I'm running the rear steer on this. We're kind of tag team in this trail. Now go left. Left right there, you're going up that. Oh, really? Yeah. There you go. You're doing great. Yep, yeah, like that. Now just, holy crap. Nice. <laughs> Dude, this thing is so sick. I feel like Furiosa. Right outside of this one horse town, there's no pecs of land, but you don't do no. Dun, 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 dun. No, this is God's country. This way? Left? He's crab walking. Go right, start cutting back. Whoa! Off the right! Off the right! What happened? The throttle stuck. Oh my goodness, that was scary. <laughs> Turn it off. Another broken car by James. I didn't break it. <laughs> I wasn't even touching it. <laughs> I just about killed you. I mean, good thing we were where we were. It didn't look like your foot was on the throttle. No, up. it wasn't. It broke. The linkage in the throttle broke. Let's look at this. Oh my goodness. What happened? This throttle cable is completely wrapped around the steering column. So while you were turning, you're like, da, 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 da. Oh. that was just stretching it. <laughs> yeah. And then it shut off when finally it snapped. I, had a, I thought we were going over for sure. Yeah. I didn't want to run over anybody. Right, yeah. So I reached over and grabbed the wheel. Right. We were both turning to yeah. the right. I'm like, we're going to drive up that and roll. <laughs> but once we're on our lid, it won't yeah. be driving anymore. <laughs> that was the plan. So you're saying it's not my fault. No, absolutely. <laughs> We're building a hand throttle extender out of zip ties. <laughs> With the zip tie throttle extension. Money. So uh, we got the wrecker out of the trail and we still have to rescue this new vehicle. So. Uh, we gotta use the tools we have, and that means the next best thing. Just keep it pointed this way and keep coming. <laughs> As you come up, straighten out a little, but you gotta come up first. Sharp, sharp. Sharp, man. Slowly drive forward. Hunt for traction a little bit. Yeah. That did it! Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, Dude, that is a crazy difficult <laughs> obstacle. Oh man, dude, that's wild. I can't believe this guy keeps letting me drive his rigs. Is that the vehicle we're looking for? Yo. What the heck is that That is thing? a limousine. That, that thing has like four feet of lift on it. <laughs> dude, that thing is wild, man. You guys need a rescue? <laughs> Matt clearly wasn't joking when he said this was gonna be a challenging recovery. Somehow, we're dealing with a full-size limousine 
in its current state, it's unable to move under its own power. So it's gonna be fully up to us. This is definitely the largest vehicle I've ever seen off-road. Well, it's the longest for sure. Yeah. Speaking of off-roading, I'm gonna be overlanding until I'm underland. That means I'm gonna be driving trucks till I die. And before today, I thought that would be a long time away. Go to donutmedia.com, new shirts, new hats, new stickers, new tire gauges. Donutmedia.com, check it out. Hey, that limo says donut on it. Hey guys, that limo says donut on it. Says what? what? This one's on the house. <laughs> Matt, how do we approach this? Well, we're just gonna need a lot of weight. So we're gonna hook these two together. It's gonna be in line. So we're linking it. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do something like that. We're gonna just pull them right up, straight up the face of that straight cliff. Straight up that face? Yeah. So I've just used a rope here as a bridle. Then we have one rope coming from the banana to two bridles which are attached to uh, suspension points on the limo. We went to the lower seas so that they won't like slide on the axle. It looks solid. It's solid. Jamie is your coach. I'm your outside coach. Doing great. So that back rope is tight. Pull left. Are you feeling right about now? Sideways. Nervous. So the little's moving now. A little more gas. All the way to the right. Okay, stop. Man, that limo is stressed out. I'm gonna add a little bit of length to you. Okay. So that we can get you up on top of here. Oh, I blame Justin. I'm pretty good at froating at this point. All right, slowly ease forward. Go, James. More left, hard left. More to the right now. Right. After seeing Justin and I in action, do you think that we could be professional off-road recovery guys? No. Well, that's fine, because we didn't want to do it anyway. That was too scary. Thank you for watching this video, everything else on Donut. Matt, thank you for having us out here. This has been so fun. Check Matt's channel out, Matt's Off-Road Recovery. We're huge fans. Big thanks to Robbie Layton for bringing out his sick limousine and getting it all stuck and letting us pull it out. Check him out on the YouTube as well. Go watch uh, Real Mechanics React channel. We did a video with Matt on there as well. Go do something with your friends. We sure did. This is great. Thanks, guys.